Aside from directly creating quad or tri patches, you can create primitives and convert them into editable patches. For example, I'd like to model a lavatory sink, and I'll start by making a box. I'll use keyboard entry and set the length at 3 feet, the width at 2 feet, and the height at 30 inches. So here we have a box with one segment in each direction. I'll right click in the stack and convert that to an editable patch. Before we get started modeling, I'd like to draw a circle on top of the box to represent the lavatory that I wish to model. I'll use Auto Grid and just sketch it on the top surface. I'll align that circle with the box and match up the X and Y positions center to center. It's merely a visual aid. Now I'll select the box, go to the patch level and select the top patch. I'll subdivide that patch. That creates four patches now with a vertex in the middle. I'll select them all by checking ignore back facing, go to select, go to crossing mode, and drag out a crossing window. I'll subdivide again to get some more vertices in there. Now I'll go into the top viewport and zoom in and go to the vertex level. Here I can move these individual vertices so that they rest on the circle. I'll just move them down in Y and I'll move these over in X and this has to come up and this here has to move over. Okay, so far so good. The next thing I need to worry about is the way that these are the curvature of the splines is handled. I'll select this vertex, click on the XY plane handle, and then press X to toggle the gizmo off. Then I'll move these plane handles over to match up the curvature with the circle. And I'll just do that all the way around. You can be as exact as you'd like. Here I'm just moving things kind of roughly. This needs to come up. I'll press X to toggle the gizmo back on and pull this up a little bit. Well, That's pretty good. I think I can do a little bit more adjustment to make it look better. I'd say that's good enough. Let's go into perspective and zoom in. I'll turn edged faces on and select this inner vertex here and then move it down to create the depression in the sink. Then I'll switch to scale mode. This allows you to move the vertices handles Maybe I need to go into wireframe and you can see those four handles there. If I scale them, it will pull them apart. The next thing I should do is adjust these handles so that the sink curves down more suddenly at, at this edge. I'll toggle the gizmo off and move this handle down in Z. Actually it would be better if I use the XZ plane so I'll click on that plane handle toggle the gizmo off and move this vertex over like that. I'll do the same thing over here. It just requires some patience 
to get your splines oriented the way you want. In this case I need to toggle the plane. I'll click on this plane and then move this handle down. It's looking good. Now I should go over here and increase the view steps so that we can see more precisely what's happening here. And we have a nice sink that's modeled out of the top surface of this box. Now it's an editable patch.